Gracie. Hi, Gracie. I love Footcats. <laughs> 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 hey. conference and I'm like so excited because I did new things I get so excited when I do new stories and new stuff so I'm glad I'm excited I felt good about it I don't know about anyone else how to sit through it but I feel great about new talks new talks that fill an hour perfectly also look at this dress this is my mood booster dress as soon as I put it on my mood boosts and I get so happy also, I'm releasing it. I put together a clothing collection with my friend at all of them. Oop, my windshield wipers. And this will be out probably by the time I edit this vlog. Also, look at these pretty flowers. So pretty. Also, someone baked me a loaf of bread. One thing. So crazy. Ready? Okay. Child, she likes lions. <laughs> Look at her go on it. <laughs> there you go. How does this happen in general? Second, how does this happen twice? Twice the same way on the same pinky on the like same finger pinky on the other hand i just woke up before my alarm and guess what's not there my freaking pinky on my other hand look this is my pinky update that little tiny thing is what's starting to grow back of my nail otherwise there is no nail there and this is what i just woke up to ripped off all my other acrylics obviously <laughs> and this guy like what do you even do how does that happen I have so many questions <laughs> oh my gosh it's still attached on that corner though. do it quick because if that blood starts drying it's gonna start sticking to my finger and it's gonna make it harder to undo <laughs> and peel here we go Ow! Dang, that nail is thick! Oh, I'm trying to pull it off. It's like a loose tooth, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to pull it, but it's not coming. Oh! In my nail. Oh!
off to the gym. <laughs> I make really good life decisions. <laughs> oh, and it's a little tiny baby one too. We are stopping at Walmart on the way home. Your girl needs some band-aids and some ibuprofen. <laughs> Ben and I decided to participate in Ash Wednesday. I just booked it from the gym. I have a dress that I'm gonna throw over my sweaty, sweaty, sweaty gym clothes because Ben and I decided that we are going to participate in Ash Wednesday, um, which is a Catholic thing. So we're at a Catholic church right now. Ben's gonna meet me with Christian and Mercy so we can kind of kick off the Easter spirit that way. Stop sweating. Dry my face of my sweat. We're not going in pretty, but we're going in. Come on, air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. Christian, what are we doing? You look very handsome. Yeah. What, what's going to happen? What are we doing right now? Um, get cross. You're going to get a cross? Yeah. What does it mean? Mm, think about Jesus. Think about Jesus? Beginning of Lent, Ash Wednesday. Happy Ash Wednesday. Happy Ash Wednesday. Christian is ready to go. 40 days till Easter. Symbolize, was it when Jesus fasted 40 days? 40 yeah, days? yep. It's kind of funny that Ben on his own woke up wanting to do Ash Wednesday at a Catholic service because we had never talked about it before and I also woke up wanting to do that as well. I grew up Catholic, so none of that was foreign to me. So a small part of me wanted to do it to kind of uh, relive childhood memories. And then a big part of me just wanted to participate in something that would make me think of Christ and what he did for me. And this was like the perfect way to start thinking about Easter and sacrifice. And I just really love how the Catholics do Easter. I love the idea of Lent and giving up something so you could always be mindful and hid and to kind of symbolize like the 40 days of fasting and what he gave up for us. And I just think it's like beautiful and deep and I wanted to, I don't know, just do something to make me think of him more. You know what I mean? They shared a beautiful biblical scripture about turning our hearts to him fully. I love how most of what they talked about was just communal repenting and just vocally they just repented out loud together in prayer and i thought that was probably the most beautiful thing ever that their entire focus was just on becoming better and doing better i have things to say about this but what i want to say i'm going to save it for the end of the video for our message and montage so if you want to know more about what that's about just listen to just watch the whole video. And Gracie finally was able to start softball. She has been talking about playing for years. I, out of excitement, impulsively volunteered myself as team mom, not knowing exactly what that entailed, but apparently I volunteered myself to put together this big raffle giveaway gift basket, as well as making, hand-making this big team banner that the kids will walk out with on a field. And it's a big like competition and there's a prize and I didn't even know what the banner was. I had to Google it. And then we handmade it. And then once I found out there's a competition, I tried so hard to win. Even though I didn't know exactly what I was doing, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna like do it. You know what I mean? My entire life for a week and a half straight was investing completely and fully into this ladybug with, with, with the glitter and googly eyes and the netting and sewing and, and 4D antennas and I wanted to win. <laughs> Thus printed out the lettering that I want to use. I attached it to felt and I'm just gonna cut out the lettering and I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try because I don't know how else to do it. This, this is all glued down and this didn't stay. So I actually ended up having to sew those on. This is just stapled on. It's supposed to be grass. This is somewhat attached. This is not attached at all. Back from the gym, my finger's awful and I'm giving you a ladybug update. The head is not attached. 
The eyes are not attached. The dowel is not all the way in. And we are slowly putting names together. We got a long way to go. I did it! I put together my first basket. We ended up going with two date nights, two movie tickets, free popcorn, dinner, dessert, dessert, dinner, movie. What? What? Wait, look at my sewing skills. <laughs> but it's on. It's on. The moment I've been waiting for for so long. Mostly because we get our kitchen table back. Hello. Can you I see my hair movie. glitter? Nope, you can't. But yeah. it's there. Gracie, I'm so excited! Something that I haven't seen for a week and a half. Our kitchen table. It's not covered in ladybug. Now we could actually eat at the table. We could eat at the table. <laughs> we uh, didn't win, but I feel like our banner was still the coolest one there. Hi, where are we going? Off to supper. What's up, baby? And then the kids' soccer came to an end, and it was actually really sad because this was our second season, and everyone from season one requested Ben as a coach again. So these kids and us, like as parents, we've been together for like so long, and all of us became super close. So like the end of the season was actually kind of sad. Christian, do you believe it? Soccer's what? over already. Are you excited for your party? Mommy. What do you have to say? Do you like soccer? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're at our last soccer practice.
We'll get into this week's message and montage. I'll start the music and I'll see you so soon. Ash Wednesday marks 40 days before Easter, also called Lent. Being mindful of everything Christ did from us from now until resurrection. It's a holy and reverent day of prayer and fasting and repentance, marking one's forehead with a repentant ashes while hearing, repent and believe in the gospel. The ash cross represents so much, but a few of the meanings are penitence and mortality. It means changing yourself for the better. It symbolizes his sacrifice on the cross and the atonement and forgiveness. The ash is made by anointing oil and burning palm crosses they bless from the previous Palm Sunday. Literal palms they hand out to everyone on that day at their service. The biggest emphasis on our service there today was repentance and the ability we have to do better. I loved how in our short time there, we together actively and often and vocally all prayed for forgiveness. I loved how open and joyous it was. Not a shameful thing, but a needed and hopeful and positive thing. Because it is. It was a beautiful thing to do something different within the community. To be united in worship together with still our brothers and sisters because of our gratitude and love of Jesus. That looks cute. That looks cute. Thank you.